Welcome to Documentary Pulse. If you have ever wondered about the origin of the Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans, the people with drawn eyes, we will reveal to you the origin of Asians according to the Bible. What is the origin and who is the ancestral father of these peoples? Japanese, Chinese, Mongolians, and Koreans. Who in the Bible gave origin to the Asian peoples? Stay with me and you'll see. I ask that if you like our series, leave your like and share the video because it helps our channel a lot. And if you want to help even more, leave your comment, your opinion about the origin of Asian peoples. Say what you think about the biblical origin based on Genesis chapter 10. Without further ado, let's go to another video from our series, The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. Asian peoples, no doubt, have always aroused interest, whether for their art, culture, or even martial arts. However, the origin of this people is a question. According to the sacred scriptures of the Bible, there are statements about the origin of Asian peoples, revealing who their parent is and the source of the Asian factor. First, to address the ancestry of Asian peoples, it is necessary to understand the origin of the name Asia. This name has its roots in Greek mythology, where Asia was the wife of Japetus. It is interesting to note the similarity between the name Japetus and the name Japheth, the son of Noah. In fragments and traces of various mythologies, elements of true biblical history have been preserved over time. Therefore, in the tales and narratives passed down from generation to generation, the names of Noah's wives and his three children may have been retained. From this perspective, it is possible to affirm that the name of Japheth's wife was probably something similar to Asia. Thus, Asia gave origin to the Asian peoples. Linguistically, she may be referred to as Hyaphet, or Japheth's wife. Consequently, the Asian factor has its origin in Japheth's wife, who gave rise to the Europeans. There is a video available about the origin of the European peoples, specifically the white peoples of ancient Europe. The link to the playlist can be found in the description. Now that we know who the ancestral mother of Asians is, we must determine who the father of Asians is. The ancestral father of the Asians is one of the sons or grandchildren of Japheth, who possessed the Asian ethnicity inherited from Japheth's wife. Gomer, the son of Japheth, is the one who undoubtedly married one of his sisters to increase the population of the planet. Gomer's wife unquestionably inherited the Asian factor from her grandmother, Japheth's wife. Gomer had three sons, Ashken, the father of the peoples of Scandinavia and Europe, Griffith, the father of the Celtic Iberian Peninsula, among several other peoples. Finally, we now find out who the father of the Asians is, the third son of Gomer and grandson of Noah, Tagarma, and he is the father of Asians, the ancestor of all Asians. With distinct Asian characteristics, such as distinctive drawn eyes, the confirmation lies in the etymology and meanings of the name Tagarma. In ancient Assyrian, it signifies domineering. In Hebrew, it means broken or infinition, suggesting pulled or broken. Notably, its etymology discreetly alludes to the characteristic of pulled eyes. Therefore, Tagarma is identified as the father of the Asian peoples. Further evidence is found in the book of Ezekiel, specifically in chapter 38, verses 6, where it becomes evident that Tagarma is the progenitor of many peoples from the far north. The house of Tagarma, situated in the recesses of the north, is described with numerous troops and peoples. The descendants of Tagarma mentioned by Ezekiel include the Chinese, Mongols, Japanese, Koreans, and Turks. This establishes a connection between these diverse Asian groups through their common ancestry with Tagarma. The genetic makeup of Asians, characterized by withdrawn eyes and other traits, serves as proof of the relationship between Asians and Europeans. Despite the geographical distance, the fair skin of Asians is a significant indicator of this kinship. Remarkably, scientific studies reveal that certain Asian populations share a portion of genetic material with European peoples. This leads to the intriguing question, which Asian people are closely related to the European peoples, sharing a portion of European DNA? The answer lies in a particular Asian group that maintains a close genetic relationship with Europeans, underscoring the kinship between Europeans, or Indo-Europeans, and Asians. The people in question are the Xiongnu, also known as Shonu. The Xiongnu were a Chinese tribe that, 
according to Chinese sources, inhabited the Asian steppes in the 7th to 8th century BC. Analysis of the mitochondrial DNA of the Xiongnu reveals that they possessed approximately 88% Asian heritage and 12% European heritage. The Shonu serve as a genuine genetic link between European and Asian peoples, providing evidence of their shared ancestry despite geographical distance. This genetic connection can be traced back to Japheth, his wife, and Gomer's grandsons, including Tagarma, along with his two other brothers, Rafat and Ashkenaz. The transmission of Asian genetics can be observed from Japheth's wife to her grandson, Tagarma, who ultimately gave rise to the diverse peoples of Asia belonging to numerous nations. This aligns with the prophecy of blessing given to Japheth, foretelling that his descendants would be enlarged, multiplied, and of great stature. Notably, China, the most populous country in the world, plays a significant role in this genetic connection. Another intriguing character mentioned in Holy Scriptures is Sin, also known as Sani. Interestingly, the name Sin bears resemblance to various terms in different languages, including the Hebrew pronunciation, which is Sin and can be interpreted as clay peak or mud. Some suggest it may also have the meaning of moon. Sin, the son of Canaan, was one of the eleven sons of Canaan, who, in turn, is the son of Ham, a descendant of Noah. Thus, Sin was one of Noah's grandsons. He is indirectly portrayed in the Bible through his descendants, known as the Sinias or Sinites. Another intriguing aspect regarding Sin, the son of Canaan and grandson of Ham, is the possibility that, similar to what happened in Greek mythology with Japheth, fragments of true biblical history about Sin may have entered Mesopotamian mythology over time. In Mesopotamian mythology, he was deified with the title of the God of Laws, proclaiming him as the lawgiver of the heavens and the earth. An interesting circumstance arises as some of Sin's descendants reportedly traveled to southern Arabia and settled a region later known as Sinai. This association with law and justice may have contributed to a tradition linking Sinai as the place of origin of the law, possibly influencing God's choice to designate Mount Sinai as the location for delivering the Ten Commandments. It is believed that the Sinias, identified as the people of Sin, or the Chinese, originated in a coastal town north of Phoenicia called Sim. Remarkably, the Sinias were not among the Canaanite tribes mentioned in Joshua with the divine command to be destroyed. This omission might be due to the prefix Sin referring to the proto-Chinese settlement in the east or the lands of Sinir. According to ancient Jewish beliefs and traditions mentioned in the Book of Jubilees, it is suggested that the curse of Canaan did not affect one of his sons, and Sin would be the ancestor of the ancient proto-Chinese people. This is supported by the fact that the Sinites, or Sinians, did not inhabit the land of Canaan, which was not considered theirs. Stay updated on the channel for more videos related to the origins of various peoples based on Genesis chapter 10, which describes the descent of the children of Noah. Feel free to leave a comment suggesting which peoples you would like to be represented in the next videos. See you soon.